All right, so we hit record. Everything's good. Let's do this. Um, yeah, so uh, L.A. broke a record, and it's not a record that we should be proud of, but uh, we have officially surpassed Chicago in gun violence. Uh, shootings have increased with 600-plus as of today and 350 homicides in the past six months. And my thing is, if they keep it up, Biden's going to drop another 94 crime bill on that ass. You know, um, that was a big problem we had in 94. And I don't even know why the violence is jumping off the way it is, man. Maybe folks are just bored. They got nothing else to do. Uh, watching too much uh, Grand Theft Auto. I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. Um, every time I wake up yesterday, I woke up yesterday morning, brother riding his bike in Compton, 2 o'clock in the morning, somebody killed him. Okay. Mm. Uh, don't know what a brother could do at two o'clock in the morning. Maybe he did something beforehand, but he nonetheless he's still dead. And you wake up every morning, you got the same same news cycle. Somebody shot here, somebody shot. And what's really crazy, man, I'm seeing more and more people being shot in the valley. Okay. And the, now oh, the man. valley is the valley is still technically Los Angeles. The valley is still technically Los Angeles. So uh, when you hear about people getting shot in Van Nuys or whatever the case may be, that's still L.A. For Coima, that's still L.A. Mm -hmm. So it's all yeah. the same, man. It's, you know, so L.A. is a big city, but that's still a lot. Of, that's a big number when it comes to homicides, Doc. And that's no yeah. Matter. Yeah. Well, we'll trip out on this, Lonzo. Um, last year, if my numbers are correct, or maybe it was 2019, one or the other, within the past two years. We were only like 400 for the whole year. For the whole and year. Just, for the whole year. And we're down around 400 murders in halfway through the month, man. I'm halfway through the year. Uh, that's a lot of dead bodies, man. And uh, again, I, to my knowledge, there's no gang war going on, but there's always a gang war going on. You may not, you may not get publicized, it may not be popular, but there's still um, always some activity. I can't explain it, man, but I know for sure from life experience, if it keeps up, well, I'll here's the crazy part. Mm. Here's the crazy part. It all depends on who's dying, too, man. all depends mm. on who's dying. If his brother's dying, might not be that bad. It might not change a whole lot, okay? Other people start dying, things will change. Mm -hmm. Depending on where they're dying at. Okay, they died in certain neighborhoods, things have changed. They died in certain other neighborhoods, things might not change. Yeah, you know, it's not about it. Sometimes it's not a matter of prevention, it's just a matter of picking up the pieces and doing doing the paperwork. And that's the cold part about this. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and try to get and, and try calling 911. Try calling 911 and get in there. Uh, you know, I, I, I had a hours. conversation with a buddy of mine the other day. I'm about to get in trouble. I'm about to get in trouble. I'm about to get in trouble. I'm gonna say it any goddamn way. I'm an old motherfucker. I can say what I want to say. Um, as progress comes to the community, in some ways, in some ways, gentrification ain't gonna be all bad. That's the cool mm. part about this. Mm. In some ways, gentrification ain't gonna be all bad. Because one thing about it. Mm. When certain people move into the community, the police are going to respond faster and differently. Ah. The police will respond faster and differently. They'll come with a smile on their face and not not not, they, and not, not with their guns, hands on their guns. Mm. They're going to come faster because they know some people will, will respond to them a different way. When there's a situation uh, that needs some witnesses, uh, certain people are going to testify. They'll point your ass out. That was him. Go to court. That was him. Okay, they know mm -hmm. uh, their efforts. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what true. Said, man, they know their efforts will not go in vain because we know we'll we'll see something and we don't see nothing. So we just call them just to get them off of them for the time being, and then to keep on going. Somebody else will get shot. Somebody else will come up dead. Whatever the case may be, and it's really a sad situation, but it's reality of where we are. And uh, yeah. like I said before, uh, as Gentrification takes place. Those those people who stay here, you'll see a big difference in the services. You're gonna see a big difference in the grocery stores. You're gonna mm. see a big difference in a whole lot of stuff. Mm. Okay. Man, if I you know want to was... stay here, yeah. If you want to, yeah. If you can afford to stay here, man. I tell you, man. I never thought I'd, I'd leave LA, but I'm telling you, over the past couple of years, it, it, other places are looking really attractive right now. Huh? 
I said I, I never thought I'd be one to leave LA, but as I get older, a lot of places are starting to look way more attractive to me now outside of, of Los Angeles. Yeah, you know, uh, a lot of places are looking a lot of, are very attractive till you get around the summertime, like right now. Vegas yeah. has always been attractive. Cause I talked to my buddy is 115. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Or you're in Austin, Texas, and, and there's bugs the size of baseballs. Bugs, bugs got cars. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Try to drive, okay? <laughs> talked to my boy in Atlanta. He says it's, it's 92 degrees with 88% uh, humidity. Ooh. Which means you want to be living in a sauna. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So all these places are very attractive when it comes to uh the amount of land that you can acquire the house you style of house you can get maybe even your house note but when it comes to the temperature and the comfort you ain't gonna be southern california you know what that's true yeah that's true You're not i need to be by beach. california and that's why i need that beach breeze huh i need that beach breeze yeah i mean right now i have an air conditioner on in my studio but if I, and that's only because i don't want to hit, want you to hear the dog barking in the background <laughs> but if I open my door, I got a nice little breeze coming through my studio right yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. Up until the time for the studio, I had a meeting on my deck outside. Okay. I had lunch on my deck outside. All right. So you can't do that right now in Vegas unless you just want to melt. You better yeah. not take off your shoes. They say the concrete in Vegas right now is 142 degrees. God damn. You walking on you 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 walking on blisters, baby. Plus, you got blisters coming. You got blisters coming instantly. Mm. Okay, so yeah, and, and here's the part that um, that the brothers need to understand, and, and the mother folks need to understand also. You need to chill out because, as uh, just like they did in so many other places, they'll come through here and start doing a sweep, come up with a new law that you ain't understanding, and everything that you thought was cool go out the window, and you find yourself. In one of them hot ass jails, someplace cross country, um, that uh, you know, anybody in the town look like you, but you in a, you in a jail full of brothers looking like you. So you might mm -hmm. want to think about what you're doing because it's, it's it's real. It's happened before. It ain't yeah. like it ain't never happened before. Mm -hmm. That's how we got that, cr that first crime bill. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And, and like I said, as a 43 year old property owner, taxpayer, legal citizen. If something like that showed up on my ballot, I would probably vote yes for it. Dude, and that's the problem that, 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 that I answer that's the problem. That's the scenario that we face with, excuse me, when we, um, when you have property, when you have, you got to invest, you just can't pull up things, man. Mm -hmm. You just can't pop up out of here and sell your house. Change, change the job. You got too much invested in your in your community. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's real hard to just pop up, pull up stakes, go someplace else, and get reestablished. Yes, people work at home every day, but it you know your job might not be one of them jobs. I don't know what you do for a living, but it might not be that kind of situation. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very comfortable working in my studio. I can work pretty much anywhere in the country, but I like my studio. I'd hate to have to move all this shit out of this place, man. Oh, yeah. dang. Yeah. I'd hate to move all this stuff out of here, man. But I, if I had to, I would, but I would hate to have to do it. It would take me days just to unbolt shit, okay? Mm. Just to, you know, I mean, I'd have to get one of them damn uh, uh, a 40-foot uh, trailer in front of my house just to pack up the studio. Not, I ain't talking to the house yet, but the studio. <laughs> it take it would take two, it would take two studio, take two trailers, um, at least to uh, move the studio, my under garage in the garage, because I got so much stuff I'm accumulated over the years. And I'm not bragging, I'm just saying, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hoarder. I got, yeah. I got three fucking hair trimmers. <laughs> <laughs>